Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KiwiKing77.com here to show off the latest Google Keyboard which brings material design to the keyboard. Very exciting. You do not need to be on Lollipop to install it though. Um, it's If you're actually running the Lollipop keyboard that I posted a video on earlier, you can uninstall that now because you can now install the official Google Keyboard. So now to show off the old Google Keyboard I had, I'm going to go to Google Plus real quick. Go to Write Something. And so here it is. Here's the old Google keyboard. Here's what it looked like. Couldn't really change it very much, but now let's go ahead and uh, what you need to do is get, download the official APK. This is the official APK that will come to the Play Store soon. If you want to download it and install it on your device now, you can. Also, I'm not using a case in my note for anymore because uh, Flaggrip actually sent a custom back so it can stick to it. So now I don't need to use a case on it in case you were wondering why I didn't have a case on it. Anyways, continue on. You need to download the link and click on the link in the description, download the file. It'll look like this. Um, and just go ahead and install it. So you'll see I'm just going to install the new ones. You don't need to have it installed from the Play Store, but also this is the official APK, once again, signed by Google, so you don't need to worry. I'll link to it in the description. App installed. So now I'm going to hit Done. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and go into Settings and show you guys a couple of the changes that come with the Lollipop keyboard. Well, not Lollipop keyboard, the, the latest update to the Google keyboard. So here we go, Google keyboard. I'm going to go to Settings. And here we go. So now you'll see appearance and layouts right here. There's theme options. So you have hollow white, hollow blue, which is uh, about the same as the old Google keyboard, either white or blue options. But now you have material light and material dark. So I'm going to click on material light. Um, go ahead and go to recent running apps. Go to go back to Google Plus and show you guys material light. So here it is. That would be the light version. Now let's go ahead and go to the one that I always use, which would be Material Dark. So switch it over to that and go back to the Google Plus, and there it is. So that's uh, Material Dark. This is the one that I always use um, to type. So um, it does have the, uh, I guess, swift key option where you can just trace your finger along. Um, of course, you can just say, hey there, how are you? But anyways, there's also one other change that I did want to point out. So let's go back to our uh, recent running apps, go back to settings. Uh, other than the theme changes, you can also go to advanced and you'll notice that the key long press de delay has came back actually. You weren't able to edit it before in the previous version, now you can. So it's a nice little feature, honestly. Um, I like to turn it down, make it a little quicker because I like to uh, use that key long press. So that's pretty much the only differences I noticed other than the theme, of course. So hopefully some, I guess, auto correction was improved, hopefully other things like that. So um, now when I go ahead and press and hold on something that can have edits, you can determine how long that uh, long press is going to take. So there you go. Um, hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Just want to show off the changes for you guys. And you can now get the official one on any device that can run the Google keyboard from the Play Store. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Happy to hear from you guys. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, as you can see. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.